Welcome to another night of dramatic storytelling with the gorgeous Duke Dread, that is myself. Tonight I am telling you the story of Crybaby Holler, a story that I heard frequently growing up in the wilderness. Now, for those of you that don't know, a Crybaby Holler or Crybaby Point or Crybaby Lake is a place where infants would be killed because they were not wanted. Many of these stories exist across cultures and including the American landscape. This is a version I heard growing up, and you may hear or know other versions in books you have read or from people that you know. Now, this is my version of Crybaby Holler. Once upon a time, a man was traveling in the middle of the night. He was awful tired, and he was climbing down the mountain into a holler or valley. Now, as he was traveling through the holler, he came across the foundation of an old house. And he said, well, you know, somebody used to live here. There's a well in the back. There's probably a good chance that it's a safe place to stay the night. So he sets up his tent and starts his fire, drinks some water from the well in the back, and settles down to sleep for the night. In the middle of the night, he is awoke by a strange crying. It seems to come from all around him. But he's okay, he's in his tent. You know, animals make weird sounds. And then he starts to hear the pitter-patter of little feet and hands moving around his tent. Moving around his tent very quickly. And the crying gets louder. At this point, he's very disturbed. But he closes the tent door, closes his eyes, and stays awake for the rest of the night. Eventually, by the time the sun is up, the crying goes away. And the man packs his things and heads out to leave the holler as fast as he can. As soon as he gets over to the next holler over, he comes across an inhabited cabin. And he stops by for drinking a meal. He asked the man inhabiting that cabin, Sir, uh, I stayed in the holler a little bit over last night, and I heard and felt the strangest thing. I heard a baby crying, and it came from everywhere, and I heard the pitter-patter of little feet and hands crawling all around the ground. And the old man goes, Well, that's a crybaby holler. You see, many, many years ago, that foundation was to a house that stood. And in that house lived a woman all by herself. Now, she was unmarried, and it came to pass that she became pregnant by an unknown man who she would not disclose. Now, at that point, it was a crime to have a baby out of wedlock, and she would have been ostracized by the rest of the community. So, when... The baby is born. A day later, she shows up at the doctor's office, claiming that the baby is dead and was born stillborn, and that there was no help in it, and that she should be left alone in peace to grieve. Now, the doctor is eerily suspicious of this, especially since the woman just gave birth the day before and decides to see over the autopsy of the baby himself. So he goes down into the holler and fetches the little body, a little boy, and wraps him in a blanket, unmoving, cold, stiff, and brings him up to his office. Now he doesn't know. He thinks something is up, but he doesn't know what it is and how to prove it. So he comes up with an idea. So the baby's already dead. So he cuts out the baby's lungs and gets a bucket of water. And he puts the lungs in the water and the lungs float. And the doctor knows, because of this, that the baby had taken at least one breath of air since it came out, and that it was impossible to be stillborn. And well, when the doctor announced this, they arrested the woman, and she was tried for murder of her young child and hung. 
And those that pass the night in that holler hear the cries of the baby that were never heard by anyone other than his own mother and feel the pitter-patter of little feet surrounding them. And no one ever spends the night there again. The end. Thank you for joining us for that dramatic reading with the beautiful, fabulous, wonderful Duke Dread. That's me. And I hope you really enjoyed that story. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and turn on those notifications because every week I'm going to try to read two spooky, terrifying, weird, bizarre, gruesome, old stories aloud. And I hope you don't miss them. Bye.